This call was made for the next two Christmases. Where's Jermaine's present? There is no present for Jermaine. All my eggs are in the Aretha basket now. She's going places. How's that smell, Grumpy? Just a bit of fog, please. You won't believe I found this in a bush, would you? I also found this gentleman's sports hoodie. It's like an inter-season sale down that edge. Don't worry, I'll breeze you in the car, bab. Let's go. Hey, guess what? Jermaine, there is a spare moment between me getting back from work, forking 37 sausages and slipping Mariah a night nurse. You can have the remaining nine seconds of my free time. But, Mum, I miss my period this month. That's fuck, mate! <laughs> Jermaine, this is not my excitement face. This is my another five friggin' years of pepper friggin' pig face. Right, here it is. The panic box. AKA the kiss of regret. Last time I opened this, your father was behind me on his knees. Praying and crying. Shit. They're all out of date. These cheap ones have the shelf life of a friggin' banana. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if a baby comes out in nine months. All eyes on Jermaine. No, we friggin' won't. You're coming to work with me to pick up some one pound pistics. sticks. A pound law pregnancy test. That's not very Kardashian. Why don't I just get my ultrasound done at cash converters? Jermaine, until science gives me two blue lines, you will not use phrases like ultrasound. You will not describe yourself as glowing. And at no point are you eating for two. You get me? Christ! There's no one else in this house. Flush the friggin' toilet. <laughs> I'm frigging like now. You'll have to get the bus. Don't worry, Aretha. If I was barren like you, I'd have to get the bus too. Come on, the people's princess. Here. You'll have to fabrize yourself. Christ, here we go. I should have known that Callum was a fertile bugger. It's those low slung jeans they wear nowadays. Too much cool air around the ghoulies, preserving little sperms. Grumpy, if Jermaine had lost her virginity, I'm pretty sure we'd have heard about it. She bought a pinata when she found her first pubic hair. I bloody hope so. A new arrival would be very bad news. We're packed in here like the cast of Das Boot as it is. Your mum will be wanting mine not for the little one. And I know girls last in first out just like it was a Leyland Dad. <laughs> The only conversation I want to have is with the hormones in your piss, and it won't be over Chucky Wucky Doodah. Oh, I updated my Facebook status to might be pregnant, Lord, and it's already got seven likes. That's the most I've had since I posted that photo of Grumpy's leg and stuff. Being pregnant makes you popular. Drink all of that now. I want your bladder full and ready to talk like a pissy prisoner of war. You're late. I'm short staffed here, and Janine hasn't bloody turned up again. The powers that be at Pound Law will not stand for this. I did tell you not to hire Janine. Anyone with a brawl that tight's bound to get some balances. I'm not happy, Della. I've already had to state the Panda Cola multi pack prices three times now. Hey, guys, stop with all the aggro. You might affect the baby, and it will turn out ginger. Chill out, Charlie. I'll be out in five. Take these off my wages. I will. I will take them off your wages, and I'll use my executive till key to do it. And turn that friggin' music off, eh, Bab? And we keep this fucker. That's a pound, love. Everything there is a pound. Yeah. We're gonna get out on your ear too when the baby comes. It's no fun being the second youngest, you know. Warps you it does. Just look at young Mariah. Hi, Mariah. 
You don't stand up for your old grampy when the pregnancy brigade comes calling looking for cot smacks, won't you? No, you never play with us. Well, that is straight up bollocks, kid. You're boring, grampy. Well then. How about we have some quality time together, play some footy, all that malarkey? And the other tell you more, that if grampy gets kicked out of the nook, you'll be emotionally damaged and most likely end up on the brown. Deal? <coughs> right then, drop your glasses and grab your asses. It's Grampy's fun day. Are you pissing on all three sticks? I want cross reference data on this one. Here we go. Knickers down, the stream of truth. Thanks, your bladder open. Wow, my urethra is not where I thought it was. I need to explore myself more. Oh, my freaking pressure. Here we go. The moment of truth. Let me see the stick. Attention, Beryl. What will the results be? Jermaine, open the door. The winner is. Thank Christ. The empty piss window of relief. Oh, that was thrilling. Can you take me home now? I've got the which serial killer are you quiz waiting for me. I'm really hoping I'm a bun day. Jermaine, you have just dodged a seven pound screaming, shitting, fleshy bullet. You ought to be fort in your vagina, not tossing about with a quiz. Hey, Mum, don't be down on motherhood. I know how it goes. Loads of attention for nine months, lovely baby shower. Then out pops someone whose sole purpose is to love you. Motherhood is the greatest job on earth. I saw that on a mug out there. Let me give you the job description for motherhood. Year one. Five hours a day, shoving a creature resembling an enraged otter into a jumpsuit. Years two and three, the creature now appears to be a lemming that repeatedly tries to throw itself down the stairs. Years four to twelve, shouting, stomping, knits. 13 to 16, wet towel, self-pity, desperate pleas for the latest iPhone. 16 onwards, vast financial outlay, unreturned calls to the mobile phone, you bought the frigger, and pregnancy scares in a pound shop toilet. Do you want that job, Jermaine? You're gonna submit your CV. Um, how's that comfort break going? I'm hearing a lot of chaffing, not a lot of flushing. That Russian panten won't stack itself to let me up You know what? You're going to learn what having children entails, which is spending most of your time away from them. Engaged in gruelling minimum wage labour whilst not smoking. I'm going to take you to the heart of fucking darkness, Jermaine. You're going to do a pound lord shift. Oh, chill out, Ronaldo. Go! You left day! You left day! Come on, sir. Some defense would be nice. We're being annihilated here. You can't shout on grumpy fun day. Oh, yeah. This is taking part of fun day. Why don't you have some grumpy fun day, OK? I wouldn't want to walk it all. You've got natural goalkeeping hands. They like shovels. I don't think I can have a fun day, grumpy. This book's making me sad. Overpopulation, tell me about it. I've been on the library waiting list for 50 shows of darker since July. I don't think Jermaine's baby's such a good idea. But if it comes, I will try to love it. Like the Christmas I wanted Wally, but I got a Terminator. Penalty! Yeah, penalty! Penalties? You must be kidding. I'm bleeding knackered here. We had a deal. Yeah, all right. Penalties. There goes woman's hour. Welcome to Powerful, where everything a pound. That's right. Everything you see is one pound. Now, Della, how much is this? A pound. Everything, Everything here is a pound. pound. This is Jermaine. She's covering for Janine for the day. One does not simply cover for Janine. Della, what about our rigorous pound lord training scheme? If there's a fire, run out the door. If there's a flood, run up some stairs. Those are the shells. That's a customer. Don't throw paper towels down the bottom and everything's a pound. Does that cover it? I think it was more dynamic with my PowerPoint slide, but fair enough. I can't afford to pay her, though. Oh, I'm not being a wageless intern. Wageless intern's fine by me. The extra sense of futility will be educational. Oh, well, in that case, welcome aboard, Lorraine. Jermaine, my name is Jermaine. And given that Lorraine is female, perhaps you could start off by uh, clearing up that spillage in feminine origin. Yeah, you go and enjoy your intact perineum while you scrape up knock-off badges up, Lorraine. Oh, and do wear gloves, Lorraine. That badge you want is corrosive. No, dude! Your patriarchal attitude is corrosive! 
Jermaine, ow. So with the chip chips, so Jermaine. with the chip chips, so 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 with the chip
Give me a tinkle if you want to come over. I'll give you a buzz if I'm afraid, big fella. I thought to be fair. I've got this massive bag of jerk to take care of. I'll leave you to it then. But you know where I am if you fancy a spatchcock. I'll tell you what, mate. I'm this Donington Monsters of Rock in 1999 because your skull was stuck in my cervix and you have been rammed up there ever since. Is there a sex office I don't know about? And that is why this scholar is anticipating capitalism's next phase. Post-capitalism. Thank you. That's where we'll pick it up next week, so I'll see you then. I can smell fox. I think it's you, Rita. I love the smell of foxes. They're such noble creatures. Oh, and uh, Brenda, can you work on your definition of fungibility for me? Some people never grasp fungibility. Uh, Channel 4 economics correspondent Paul Mason. Oh, the bird, yeah? He is my favourite economics correspondent. Oh, mine too. You can't really own the economic meltdown. Would you like it? I've got loads. I uh, overestimated the general level of interest in Paul Mason. I have a high level of interest in Paul Mason. My APR is 263%. <laughs> Shift, eh? What a doozy. Customers. Uh, Della, do you uh, fancy some overtime tonight? There's a pretty juicy stock tank up for grabs. No, not tonight, Charlie. I'm otherwise engaged. You want to get on the blower to Janine? Give her a bollocking. Tell her to go up to a 38 day. She's getting no one in a 32. She's got a swimmer's back. Can we go home now? I'm ready to leave the heart of darkness. I dip it. Employment is not what working girl promised. My hair is relatively small. And there's no Harrison Ford. Then here is some protection against both teenage pregnancy and the pain lord. I bought you a week's wages worth of contraception. Now hear this, Jermaine. Any fluid emitted by a man can make you pregnant. Any fluid. You need to know where in the room the sperm is at all times. You get me? Maintain visuals on the sperm. It's like the weeping angels in Doctor Who. You close your eyes for one second, and then BAM! They've got you. Come on, let's get out of here so in 14 hours I can come back. It's like Groundhog Day and Pink Polyester Workwear. Jermaine. She's not pregnant. Well, oh, thank God. Bad cat, eat your food. I remember her tea Sorry, kid, never trust a hippie. This cat just quit. Oh, and Del, your great eyes took a bit of a battery this afternoon. I'll take it up with young Wyatt over there. Go on then, start talking. Hey, Aretha, I'm not pregnant. Little Jermaine won't be bunking in with us anytime soon. I thought little Jermaine was the name you'd given to you. Area. You know, the funny thing is, Callum's never actually met little Jermaine. I hand planted him and there was some form of clear juice on my hand at the end, but I simply wiped it on a duvet cover. Whose duvet cover? Aren't you going to tell Mum you're one of the unsullied? She's chain smoking furiously down there. Nah, not today. I'll wait for her to cool down. She was talking about taking me to the PDSA and getting me spayed on the way home. Besides, I've thought it through and I've decided I'm going to keep it. You're not pregnant, Jermaine. Not my baby, my cherry. I'm going to lock my flower away, roll a rock across Wookie Hole. There's a lot of freaky stuff you can do without penetration, and I intend to do it all. Anything that prevents you from reproducing is fine by me. So, Aretha, what's the latest on your sexuality? I was wondering if you might be one of those asexuals. They're the latest thing. I'd be a bit jealous if you were one of them. You're right. I am asexual. 
I have no sexuality. You've taken all the sexuality. There's none left for anyone else. You have fun. Yes. Yes. I have taken all of the sexuality. And I intend to keep it all. coming back. Now I've been googling DIY vasectomy and the good news is you've got a 50-50 chance if you keep nice and still. Tomorrow night is a good night for laughs. Eight out of ten cats who like to do the countdown is at nine o'clock. Ten o'clock, the cast of Fresh Meat chatting to Alan Carr. It's a Channel 4 loving. Gogglebox next tonight. Tom Hiddleston, the best in show, the night manager. Oh, no.